Hello, this is Craig from Bitsbox.co.uk. Now it's time for a little unboxing video. This time we are going to look at Scarbrand for Bloodfester. So, Scarbrand, for anyone who doesn't know, he is a special character for um, Chaos Demons in Warhammer 40,000 or now in Age of Sigma. So, um, yeah, he's a special character, Bloodfester. Uh, basically, his wings have all been torn so he can't fly, but he does carry two massive axes and it's quite a monster in close combat. Um, so, first impression of a model, I actually think he's quite cool, I quite like the model. I've been wanting a Scarbrand model for so long, because I've always been a big fan of him, but he's never had a model in, until now. So very happy they've finally released a model of him. You look on the back and you see a close-up of his, one of his axes, I think they look really nice. That's what I say, um, the Bloodfaster itself, I was a really big fan of that. So, we'll open them up. You see on the tab here it says Blood, for blood, for blood God, which I think is quite cool. Um, I hold it the right way. So I always um, film these upside down just for ease. So I apologise if it ends up being upside down for you guys. So we'll open them up. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of these slide out boxes. I prefer the ones where you just lift it off the top. It's much easier to store stuff in. Um, so he has, a, he has a round base. I believe the Bloodfirster had an oval base, but he has a round base. Um, I, I really like these large round bases. We're starting to see a lot more of the larger bases now. Okay, so there's two sprues, and I'll get to the other one in a minute, but this first sprue is um, of the main pieces of Scarbrand. So of course there's wings right in the middle there, or well, what's left of his wings I should say. Um, really cool, and there's pieces of chain and stuff there as well as um, the torn membranes for wings. So I really like them. And you've got his legs as well, they come in two pieces each. Out this corner, we, oh, sorry, we have his two axes. So they're not as large as the Bloodfester axes, but they're still really, really nice, really, really detailed. Lots of detail in these axes, if I hold them up closer. See, there's so much detail in them. As with all the pieces, really, um, we have his tabard there, which is quite nice. And then we have like some alternative armor pads and such. So by the time you you've added all the Scarbrand pieces, um, he is pretty much very different to the Bloodfirster, but not different enough that you can't tell that he is a Bloodfirster, if that makes sense. Anyway, so yeah, um, the other sprue, and you may have got from that hint, is actually from an actual Bloodfirster. So this sprue is just in the Bloodfirster box. So if you buy Scarbrand, you are going to end up with a lot of spare pieces because you do not need a great deal of pieces from the sprue. You mainly just need the main torso pieces and then there's a few other little pieces. I'm not even sure if you need the arms. Um, I haven't gone through the instruction manual fully yet. But there's just a couple of pieces from the torso that you'll need. And maybe some pieces what joins the legs to the torso, like a little tail. I think you need that as well. But apart from that, you'll end up with all these spare whips and chains and two, two axes as well. Or two different axes heads that you can use. So that's really cool. Um, if you plan on converting up a demon prince or anything, you know, they'll always come in handy for that. So yeah, lots of spare pieces, because you really don't need much from this sprue. So there are the, the two sprues for Scarbrand, and um, it's always going to be a short video because there's not much to him really. So um, we will just have a quick look at his instruction manual, just have a quick flick through. So um, fairly straightforward to put together really, just you can make the legs just out of about seven pieces here, just make the entire legs pretty easy and then these are the main torso pieces which are on the blood first of sprue and you don't need much more than that really so yeah I'm I'm pretty sure that I did see some arms on Scarband sprue so these are the arms from there with the hammer plates and the X and you have his head 
So not really too difficult to put together. And then there's more additional armor plates you can add to them. And of course lastly, put on the wings. So pretty, pretty easy to put together. I'm hoping to get them built very soon. And as with all Laser Sigma stuff and all sort of recent releases from GW now, they do include the rules. Um, I won't go through the rules in detail, and they're pretty easy to find online. And of course, if you have the Age of Sigma app, you can just download them for free. And then they have, have them in a couple of different languages. And then we'll be back for rules for um, Warhammer 40,000, which um, I haven't checked, but I think they are, they are still the same as what's in the Chaos Demons Codex. So um, I'm pretty sure they are. I haven't I haven't checked as I said, but they do look to be the same. So Scarbrand, um, he's actually quite a beast in Age of Sigma Bollocks of it. So looking forward to putting him together and maybe using them with my with my corn blood band or my corn demons. So um, yeah very quick little unboxing video just want to show off Scarbrand. Um, as I said, it's a, it's a character I really like fluff-wise and I'm very glad there's now a model for him. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please like and subscribe if you already haven't. And I'll see you again.